genuinely think I want to take this off after I've done it. I could be the face of the advert when they decide to bring it back because can we agree that that would make our lives a lot better? Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Monday. Hopefully this video is going to go up on the same day that I'm filming it. It's like around two o'clock now so I'm really really going to try. If not it might be Wednesday that you're seeing this or it could be Tuesday. Who knows? Anyway today I am testing out the brand new Fiery 2.0 palettes from Beauty Bay. <laughs> about this because I didn't actually realise they were doing it. I think I saw it in somebody's story and I went straight over and it was on the website and I didn't feel like it was very like obvious on the website either. It was on one, on one of the like columns down the side so I had to like scroll down. Anyway, obviously I do go into a little bit more detail in the actual video but I just thought I'd clear up like the main questions about it. So, so this palette was £23 and I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of the shades. I do obviously go into it a little bit more in the actual video but that is the first impressions. It has new packaging like this. Obviously you'll see me unbox it in my actual reaction. Just kind of like a heads up, this is the first palette. This is kind of like the packaging so I really like how they've kept the theme. That's my first kind of like thoughts about it. But I really, really hope you do enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up if you do. And let's get on to the review. It's just come in a normal Beauty Bay box. And I'm just gonna unbox. I'm so happy this arrived today because I did order it on Friday and it's Monday today. And hopefully this video will be out tonight when you're watching this and it is international women's day so happy international women's day but on to the palette so i'm really really excited purely because i don't actually have the original i kind of do let me show you so if you saw my what i got for christmas you will know that i actually got the mini fiery one reasoning because i'll pop a picture of the original fiery one and so i personally felt like there was too many orangey shades that were quite similar now i have the neutral one and there's 42 neutral shades so obviously some of them are similar but i don't do orange looks that much to need like 42 different shades do you know what i mean um this one's got like the perfect amount i think and in the a new one i'm really really excited to be trying purely because it's actually got some neons that i saw and it's got quite a few more like pinky purpley orangey shades rather than it just being like orange autumn because that was definitely the vibe that i got from the last one features all the golds reds not oranges with brighter hues vibrant tones and even more pigment payoff so i think this one's supposed to be better so first of all really like the packaging it's red and orange and i think that's actually really nice because it kind of like goes into one Oh wow, I, I love it. So this time round, I'm really, really impressed. So first of all, this is what it looks like. I think it is one of the most beautiful palettes I've ever seen. So obviously you've got the oranges mainly on the second and the third row. Really, really like what they've done on the two bottom rows, especially because they're still keeping like the orangey tones, but in more of like the pinks, because they're more of like a deeper pink rather than a bright pink. I'm obsessed with these neons and they've got quite a lot of these shimmers. I'm sure they're called like duo press pigments. If you've seen my Nikki Tutorials palette review, they've got these like, I'm sure they're called duo press pigments because they're not like the normal shimmer. I will just quickly swatch it. If you can see the difference, this is just the normal shimmer and this has got like kind of more of a reflex to it. It's a bit thicker as well which is what I found happened before. So I think that's the case. I'm really, really excited. I am not honestly too sure what I'm gonna go for because I bought it and I thought, you know what, like how am I actually gonna do this video? Because I really wanna incorporate the neons today because I think like they're one of the main things that makes you wanna buy this palette. But I definitely want to incorporate an orange. So I'm thinking something, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Um, Something that kind of incorporates the papaya, the sherbet and then maybe just one of these pinky shades here so I kind of get like 
a range because I'm really really pleased that they do actually have quite a lot of neutrals on the first two rows um, so I'll definitely be getting use out of those but I don't really want to focus on those I haven't actually seen any of these before I think perhaps maybe the champagne glitter is in the nude one but that's about it so without further ado I'm going to get straight into testing it out so I have actually applied my P. Louise base to my eyes already but I think the first shade I'm going to go in with is saffron and I'm just going to make sure to tap it off. I'm kind of thinking about, I want to keep it quite contained. I don't want it to go too far out. Don't hold me on that because that might happen. But that is kind of what I'm thinking, particularly because I want to do the neons. But I could even do that in like the inner corner. I actually think this is a really nice palette because obviously it's called fiery. And you kind of expect when you hear the word like fiery, you kind of hear like expect reds and oranges but I really like how they've incorporated these almost like a maroon pink and look how pigmented that is I genuinely I think this is far more pigmented than some of the other color palettes that they have because sometimes I have to go in a few times which is absolutely fine I just think it's taken me not so much build up which is obviously better for the final result because then it never ends up cracking on your eye because I hate when that happens sometimes if you put too much shadow on top. So I'm really happy with the payoff of that. I think that's actually really nice. I'm going to try and keep that just like that. And I just want to blend it out just ever so slightly before I go in with my next shade. These, some of these bridges are stained by the way. I'm not just putting blue on my eye. I feel like just blowing it out a bit. It just really shows like how pigmented it actually is. It kind of looks a bit patchy because... I haven't put as much shade here but it's not, it's just where I've placed it. It's blended out so smoothly. I'm really really impressed so far, I think this is actually really nice. I'm trying to balance the palette so I can see in the mirror because you know like I don't really use these mirrors and I should do because obviously that's what they're here for but I always end up reaching for my tiny little doll beauty mirror. I think next up I really 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 like the shade and this is the shade papaya so it's kind of like a peach and it's almost like a peachy orange so I'm not sure if it's going to be too bright because I don't really want it to be like a really bright orange but I had this palette from Morphe and it was like it had three shades in and this looks quite similar to this but it's more orangey rather than the other one was more pink. Oh my god, I love it. I think this is so nice. I Do you know what though? When I do do these videos, I do find that I kind of want to do one of each eye. But then I just feel like the end look, you can't really judge it. Because I look a bit silly having two different eyeshadows on. Um, so I might do a part two. I did do a part two for the Nikki Tutorials one. I could do that. I could film that tomorrow. So I'm not sure if you like this then definitely let me know but I just think like it's hard to show everything with just one eyeshadow look. But I do feel like today I am going to really test it and really like put it to its limits. I think it's really really good though I have to say because I feel like loads of brands miss this out. They create a colourful palette and they have like one neutral and it really annoys me because like... I think if you just want to take one palette somewhere, you don't want to have to like take more than one, do you? You want to just be able to take one and be able to do neutral and colourful looks. And I think this is really good because they haven't just given you like one or two either. They've given you like two rows of neutral browns and like transition shades. This is actually going so much quicker than I thought. Am I going to do a cut crease? That is a question. I feel like I should. But I'm really, really nervous to just introduce a neon I'm not sure how that's gonna work to be quite honest I'm thinking I could go from papaya to turmeric and then maybe add like the neon yes that's a good idea so there's there's a shade peach here and then there's a shade turmeric and oh that's nice oh my god I feel like a, a sunset <gasps> Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Guys, I'm obsessed. So you have like the turmeric, right? Here's the vision. And then I put in the inner corner, the neon sherbet. I am a genius. I actually, I'm obsessed. Does anyone remember Calippo shots? Because I'm still not over. I don't think I'll ever be over. 
the fact that you can't really like buy them anymore i googled it and i think you can get it from like a wholesalers but i also i'm not really entirely sure if you can or if that's just like on there because why don't they sell them anymore they were like the best things in the world like on a hot summer's day and you didn't even have like because i feel like sometimes when you get an ice trolley like you bite it and you get oh i can actually get shivers in my mouth from like the brain freeze but i do feel like the clipper shots just did everything should i like at my crease because i kind of want to but i kind of like it like this but i feel like i need to but then what do i do should i add glitter or i should probably add a shimmer shouldn't i just gonna kind of like map it out a little bit i'm not gonna add any more product i'm just gonna add whatever's left on my brush just using the p louise base by the way that's what I normally use. I actually used the Beauty Bay base. I did a video on that. I actually really like it. I just, this was the closest thing today. I'm thinking, I don't, um, I'm not sure whether I could do crystal either. Which I'm not sure, like. Then we've got Tiger, which I feel like I'm going to have to go with that. And then I could go in with, look at that. I'm thinking, what I'm going to do is, Tiger... I don't know why I'm asking, I'm literally asking your opinion and you can't even give it to me until like the video's up. I'm thinking I'm going to go in with Tiger because it's like very unique orangey shade and then the neon shimmer as well as the neon eyeshadow. That is definitely a good idea. So I'm just going to... I'll be honest as well, I don't normally use shimmers that much. It's quite thin, even though it's quite chunky. Like, when you get it off the palette, it looks like it's kind of going to be really, really thick. But it goes on really, really thin, and you can't really feel it, which I like. Because sometimes, I don't know about you, but I've put some products on my eye, and they've been so, like, thick. And it creases, and your eyelid feels so heavy. I actually really like that. I think that's really simple. And it doesn't make it too much because I think what I've done with like the sunset kind of look, it could look, I don't think it's like too in your face. Like I love my cut creases, but I actually think when a cut crease is there, it's very like artistic and it's very like bold. And I quite like the fact that this is just a light shimmer instead of a cut crease because it kind of doesn't take away what I've done here. Sometimes I find when I do a cut crease, it kind of puts all the attention on the cut crease. And when my eyes are open, you can't really see it anyway. And it like takes it away from the eyeshadow. So I really, really like this. I'm really considering using this shade a lot more. I was so indecisive, like, because I thought, is it going to be any different? Because obviously, when you bring out a new palette, I suppose you would want to fix anything that maybe you thought you needed to with the last lot. But I also think a lot of the time the formulas never change and they just create new shadows so i'm really glad that they have like up the pigmentation because it was never bad like it's always been really really good but you never really think it's gonna get better do you oh my gosh can you see the orange it's like orange and pink that is so cool so it, it goes from like pink to orange and pink to orange i know i did explain that but i didn't think it was actually going to do that on my eye Right, here's for the exciting bit. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Oh my god, this is literally... I'm so happy. And can I just tell you, there's this shade called Meringue. And look how nice that is. It's like such a nice, like... It's kind of like salted caramel. And I actually think I would just use that all over my eyelid. I genuinely think I want to take this off after I've done it. Because I want to use more colours because I'm actually obsessed. Are you ready? There's sherbet and daffodil, so I am going with sherbet. Can we just look at that? That looks like a fresh tennis ball. Okay. So it's not as neon as it is on my finger. I haven't done a look like this and just like thought oh i'll just randomly use this for ages and this is what like i really like about trying new stuff is because it really like makes me just feel really like creative and motivated because i just think i have to really think about what i'm going to use and i've just used three colors 
that I would not have even really thought about doing today. I think it's a little bit less neon than I thought it would be but it's still very very bright. I just think because of how it looks in the palette it hasn't really gone like that on my eye. It's still very neon but I just think it's more yellowy rather than it looking more like a neon yellow. Like I even think it doesn't even look like that. Do you know what I mean? I've swatched it so it is definitely that shade but if you look at it next to my eye it definitely looks a lot more yellowy. Do you know what guys this has made me so happy. So this I'm really 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 excited for this so I'm going in with the shade Sun. I'm sure it's a duo press pigment it's definitely not a shimmer. I'm gonna try and shut my eye because my eyes are like I don't know if they're hooded but they're not like like my crease is quite low. When I open my eyes like you won't be able to see this. I am blown away i honestly it's blended so well hasn't it i think it's blended as well as like the other ones but i just feel like the pigmentation especially of that pink was next level and i find pinks are really really hard to get right and i just feel like it's given like the right shift like when i move into the light the pink definitely looks different i feel like i look like a clipper shot advertise me as a clipper shot put a clipper shot next to me i could be the face of the clipper shot advert when they decide to bring it back because can we agree that that would make our lives a lot better so if you're watching i will i will do this look again and i can win a lifetime supply of clipper shots to be honest i'd buy a lifetime supply Anyway, I'm going to put some lashes on and come back with my final thoughts as per. So, change of personality. I just popped on some Tati lashes and I popped in a little bit of bottom lash mascara. I'm really, really, really loving it. I think, I feel like if I shut my eye a little bit, you can see this eye has a lot more of the neon shimmer on compared to this eye but you can still see them both and i think it's just like it's just everything i wanted it to be I, and although i feel like this yellow is it's kind of like more yellowy than neon but i do think it's more neon than your average yellow so i don't know if that makes any sense but so we've got the bright matte palette so that's the yellow and that's a hell of a lot more neon but just to clarify the uh, neon yellow on the right is from this fiery palette and the yellow on the left is just from the bright matte palette but i actually love the way it's turned out i think like all the colors have complemented each other so i'm really really happy i think it's really really nice i don't feel like it surprised me at all i feel like the only thing is i do feel like it is slightly more pigmented than the other ones especially this pink like I don't feel like shadows come out that pigmented on your hand. Do you know what I mean? So it's a yes from me and if I run out then I shall be repurchasing. I don't feel like I'm going to need to repurchase it for a long time but I definitely would if I used it all up. And I think if I do start doing other people's makeup, I don't know, I haven't really decided. But if I do then I definitely, definitely will be buying another one because I just think like... It's got your night out shades, it's got a bit of colour but not too much because I find a lot of people don't necessarily want me to do like free cut creases. So I think this, something like this is actually really, really nice and summery. So yeah, it's a yes from me and that is everything I have to say on the palette. I'm really, really glad I actually bought it to test out. I'm really like picky because... I never know, obviously there's loads of products that come out and I don't want to test every single one. Like I want it to be something that I really like and obviously I've tested so many of their palettes now. Like I think, I feel like this might be the third palette I've tested of theirs for YouTube. I feel like I've used the Origin one for a video. I can't really remember which one. I just feel like when something comes out that you enjoy using like the P. Louise Lip Bases, I love P. Louise and I love her products. So I think that's perfect, do you know what I mean? So. It's really nice when a brand comes out with a new product that you actually are really excited for. And look at the yellow now. And I just, I'm really, really impressed. And I think especially this shade here, they've done so well making that into like a shimmer that pays off as well as it does. So that is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below and leave me a thumbs up and comment if you want me to do another completely separate look with this palette. 
But that is it from me. I love you all so, so much. And hopefully I'll see you all very soon in a brand new video. Bye.